A Maui father and daughter say they're extra thankful this holiday season. A boating accident left them stranded in rough currents and their boat sinking quickly. But with the help of the community, they managed to get out safely, and their boat was salvaged without heavy costs, something they say only happens here in the islands. Jorge and Claude have been fishing together for 30 years. The duo went out fishing a week ago, heading out from Kahului toward Hana on their boat Maile. After fishing overnight, they both fell asleep with their boat on autopilot. Charmé was sacked out on a large cooler I have in the back of the boat, and I have a beanbag chair, which is a little bit too comfortable, and I dozed off, and next thing I know, we're crashing on the rocks. The boat crashed into the rocks at Honokala Point on Maui's north shore. We didn't know the front of the boat had opened up when it hit, so when he turned it around and went forward, the water, I, I told, it, it filled up, and I said, call a matey right now. Matey, matey, this is Bethel Miley, John 1, 6, over. The boat went under while he was on the radio call, and um, and he went, the boat went under, and he went under with it. You can't describe how fast, You're like, now you see it, now you don't. Charmé dove in to rescue Claude. He was trapped underwater in the boat with the cooler floating above him. So I had to dive down and go, you know, grab, like looking for his, I couldn't see anything. I just grabbed I, his hand, arm was up because he was trying to push, push it away. And so I got him and then pulled him up. They still faced an hour swim to shore with ripping currents and surge dragging them back out. We were both drowning and I got in and then I didn't want to jump back in, so I didn't want his boat get swept out again. I was trying to get him to get on his own, but he couldn't do it, and he went under one more time. And so I jumped in, and his head popped up one last time, and he looked at me, and he said, just save yourself. And I got really mad. I said, no, we're both going to make it. We're both not going to make it. And I grabbed him, and we just yanked him in, and we tumbled into shore. Once they finally reached shore, Charmé was able to find help. Maui firefighters airlifted Claude to safety, and both are now okay. They now have this message for fellow boaters. Be cautious when falling asleep and keep a radio on in case of emergencies. This is not a fluke. So it's just when you have an autopilot, the autopilot's are great. I love it, especially by yourself. But you can't fall asleep if you're tired. You need to find a place to anchor or you need to go way out in the deep and turn the motors off. As Thanksgiving approaches, they're grateful not only to be alive, but that first responders and those who helped salvage my lay were full of aloha. Love just started pouring in. You know, all, all the fishing community was like, we're going to go help them out, you know, and the ambulance guys, the helicopter guys, the hospital guys, everybody. Claude adds he's planning to take all those folks out to dinner on Wednesday.